Welcome back to another Chinese food adventure and today's food adventure is truly that. It is an adventure. I'm here at a restaurant called Niu Zha Di Jia, which means the number one restaurant for miscellaneous cow insides. And here they pretty much serve every part of the cow. But when I say every part of the cow, I really mean every part of the cow. And back in Australia over the last year and a half with my parents, we've really been challenging ourselves trying some new, different foods that we probably wouldn't eat in our everyday life in Australia. But today is really gonna test that limit because today I'm gonna be eating some stuff that I would have never imagined I would eat in my life. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Since 1991, this restaurant at this same location has been serving beef to the people of Hershan, beef in all its splendor. This is the boss here. He's been preparing beef since I was minus two years old. And fun fact, some point in the last 30 years, he actually stopped eating beef altogether. And to be honest, I can't blame him. So we're at the table and we've all got these mini hot pots and it's just water with some ginger in it as well as some shallots. And I've learned that how things work here for most of the meats is you just dip it in there and yeah, that's how it's cooked. So it's kind of like a hot pot concept, but you know, not an overly flavorful broth. I guess that there must be a sauce or something. Oh, a sauce <laughs> right here. So one by one, the plates of beef arrived on our table. Some cuts I could identify, some I could not. Honestly, the people are just so kind here. The boss of this restaurant of 30 years has just cooked me the first piece of Wagyu. And this is top class Wagyu that they've actually served because they knew I was going to be here. And I just feel you know, very emotional about it. It's just really, really kind. So it only took about four or five seconds to cook. It's a very thin piece. And um, we've dipped it in this sauce, which is like a, a bit of a, how do you call it, like a soy sauce combo. Um, I'm very excited about this. Oh my god. Wow. The sauce is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It has so much flavor. A real pepperiness. It's beautiful and it goes so well with this. This here is the must try dish of this restaurant, Niu Zha Zhou. Um, it's basically a, a congee with pretty much everything in it, as well as peanuts. Fun fact make sure we get some guts in there. It's very, very nice. Warming, hearty, everything in there tastes very nice. <laughs> I can't really tell what anything in there is, which is probably for the best. I don't know what I, what I just ate. This is what? It's It's they, they put two cow sparrows in it. Two it's cow. just one dish. One dish, two cow. Wow. Two cow sparrow. Wow. Yeah. So there's not much marrow in one cow. Exactly. Yeah. We we get uh, we give the order to the boss this morning and the, and the boss just kill two cows in fresh. They put these wow. two marrows. Yeah, I guess very special dish. We have to respect that dish and enjoy it because two cows went into making it and um, yeah, it could get my head in a bit of a spin sometimes but you know, we're here, we're, we're eating local. Yeah, let's eat some marrow. 
This is actually, I'm pretty sure this is my first time ever trying bone marrow. I can't recall ever trying it before, let alone in such a mass. Oh my god. That texture, it's like tofu. Like a meaty tofu. That's very interesting, I really like that. That texture is out of this world. Got some stomach here, going in. From memory, it doesn't need very long. Oh! I'll, I'll serve you in person. Okay? Yeah, this is great service. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm going, I'm going. He treats you as family. Oh, it's really beautiful. So this here is cow stomach and Asked me two years ago to try this, I probably would have been a little bit scared. But the last year and a half with mum and dad, we've eaten a lot of this, so now it's really nothing that I'm worried about. I'm actually looking forward to eating it. Mm. Really good texture. If you overcook this, you chew it for ages, but that's been cooked just right. Really good. Ooh. Look what's just come out. We have a cow vagina on the table right here. This is just over here. No, we're not actually eating that today. They do serve it on the menu, but it takes four hours to cook, so you have to call ahead and prepare it. So unfortunately, we won't be able to eat that today. But what we can have as a compromise is its close cousin, the cow uterus. Very chewy. Doesn't have any super offensive taste. Look, it's okay. It's just the idea of it more than anything. It's okay. <laughs> have you eaten some uterus yet? Uh, not yet. Try it, please. <laughs> I want to see the reaction. Try it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> uh, that one looks normal, so I'll try this. Okay. Texture is kind of weird, but it's acceptable for me. If you didn't, if you are not going to tell me what is that, that would be much better for you. One piece is my limit. So, uh, another exciting uh, thing has arrived on our table here. Yes, that is bull penis. Look at how big those balls are. It's the size of my fist. So, wait, are we not eating it? Do you want to try it? Yeah, why not? Originally, this was supposed to be part of our menu for tonight, but because it's a, a thicker than usual size, it's gonna take a lot longer to cook. So I can't believe I'm actually suggesting this, but I've arranged that we can come back here another day to try both the cow lady bits and the cow man bits as, as they're meant to be prepared. Because I think it's just one of those opportunities that you can't pass up. I am interested in food and food culture, so if I've got the opportunity to try something new and different and interesting, you bet I'm gonna take it. So we're gonna come back in a few days' time and try the cooked version of this. I believe they make it into a soup, is that correct? Yep, exactly. Peanut soup, okay. <laughs> so stay tuned, we'll come back next week. Okay, it's a few days later and I can't believe that I insisted I come back to try these dishes. I'm now actually feeling really nervous about it. But you know what, it's an opportunity. It's a kind of a once in a lifetime type thing. It's definitely not something I'm gonna find on the menu at, at home in Australia. So may as well take this opportunity while I can. But I do wanna put a disclaimer out there that this is not something that everyone eats. My friends that are coming with me to try this, none of them have ever tried it. It's more of a local specialty, so yeah. It's just something to experience, something to try, and uh, yeah, something to tell the grandkids about one day. Guess what your granny did? Guess what your granny ate in China that one time? And we didn't make the same mistake twice. Today, we made sure we called ahead to reserve us some genitals. Wow. <laughs> 平時有沒有人別點這些湯啊都有啊都有啊幾百萬萬萬啊幾百萬四百萬啊沒有那麼多 You can see it on the menu here 450 renminbi for a large portion of peanut soup It's probably the most expensive soup I've ever paid for and it's got genitals in it I, it's, I wanted it because we're gonna try it so how do I refer to these body parts when it's in a soup in Chinese? So what, what are the names? What's the name for the man bits? The man bit is niu bian. Niu bian, niu bian. And what about female bits? 
Three mil bit is new one seat. We tend to call it in a polite way. Catch it, eh? Oh, I can't believe I elected to come back. And I pressed <laughs> for it too. Like, we had to make a special trip here. <laughs>
that's the only way. It is actually, it's really testing me. Like the idea of it is, uh, I was already tested today, but this is really another level. I don't know why. Maybe because it looked really juicy when you cut into it. It was like, all this water came out, I don't know. Is it enough for you? That's enough, yeah, that's enough. Oh, really? Yeah, I can do it. Some yeah, more? that's good. I would feel regret if I didn't try it. So let's do this, guys. Come on. I'm not. I'm trying to. I won't try and think about it too much. Come on. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Okay. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm actually freaking out. Just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. I don't like that. The texture is very Sticky. weird. Like, you want to try it? No, no, no. Come no. on! Come on! No. Come on! You'll regret it if you don't. Come on, you can do it. No, 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 no. You can do it. Yeah, no, try it. No. It's way even smaller piece than mine. It's weird. It's like... It's hard to describe. It's like when you fall apart. Yeah. When you ate it. Yeah. It's like, I feel so like it goes everywhere in my mouth. In its defense, it is very tender. It, you know, people like to use the phrase "it falls apart in my mouth" when it describes, oh, you know, well, when you exactly describe yeah. meat. So it actually does, you know. <laughs> it has that texture. It goes in, and suddenly it's like. <laughs> I'm just gonna call mom. Hey mom. <laughs> is dad there? Hi. I want to show you guys something. Do you want to see what I just ate? What did you just say? Oh my goodness. Do you know what this is? Oh, could it be a little bit of Paul's penis to chance? <laughs> guys, I just ate cow vagina, cow penis, cow penis, and cow testicle. Was the penis still in the... I'm not in the vagina because they weren't having sex with two of them. That's just wrong. That's, that's a lot of it. I don't ever play with their food, but that's taking up way too far. The penis was actually really nice. I really enjoyed it. So this is some penis. It had a really nice jelly-like texture. So that's penis oh. there. Um, the ball is here and it was a little bit too much for me. Um, that was... Oh my God. That's a what do you reckon, guys? It, when you come to China with me next time, would you dare try it? Look, I have to say, if you if you can do it, I can do it. It wouldn't be my choice. <laughs> I'd probably prefer to go to McDonald's to the opposite. <laughs> so is this like a traditional food for where you are, or is this like a bit of a delicacy? Or it's a bit of a delicacy. It's really expensive to have, um, right. and it's on. Save your money. When we come to China, save your money. Okay. Oh, it's so generous of you guys to think about my wallet like that. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Hello. Hey, what's good? I just wanted to show you what I just ate. Do you want to see? Yeah, show me. I'm feeling really. Hey, how are you? Looks very nice. Very nice. You're coming to China soon. Are you gonna eat this with me when you arrive? <laughs> what was your favorite piece of that we ate today? I think the, the penis too. Yeah, me too. It's I have to agree. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed the penis. Yeah. It's mostly action I've had in a year and a half. Um, thank you guys so much for coming with me. Thank you for being <laughs> brave. Thank you for trying. I don't know if I would have had the courage to try it if I was on my own. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And thank you, you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and try something that maybe you've never tried before today. And uh, maybe you'll really love it. I, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised by this and I'm sure you will be too when you try something new. So yeah, that's it from us. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.